our senior most uh, teacher of our devanali acharya shri rakum ji high school nagraj sir who teaches hindi he went to the bmtc bangalore metropolitan transport corporation shantinagar and submitted the 1 lakh 90000 um paid received to them and he called me and asked they asked from when do you want the bus i said from yesterday her <laughs> principal is telling me it will take more than 15 to days to one month and i asked nagraj sir when do when do you think they wanted to give us the bus said, in 3 days 3 days means i should be getting the chartered bus on thursday <laughs> so one more route is cleared up then i told uh, sandeep our transport department sandeep to go to dodbulapur he went to dodbulapur he got me, got me gundumalli and that is a beautiful flower where we decorate for the the temples and for all the girls hairs and there is a suji malli and there is a kakra malli three varieties five five so 15 of them we planted then they have uh, the other one pink one kanagambara that is a pink color or orange color one kanakambara that they used to join with the white uh, gundumalli and the taita it's so nice sometimes very smelly and very beautiful looking that we collected around 10 of them we planted and then i asked him to buy tulasi most of the tulasi is not to be seen over here so he brought to tulasi he bought five uh, krishna tulasi and five lakshmi tulasi here lakshmi tulasi was <laughs> nice herbert clark who um, born on 10th august 1874 in loa iowa united states america died in 28th october 1964 in new york was an american politician and engineer who served as the 31st president of the united states from 1929 to 1933 and a member of the republican party holding office during the onset of the great depression before serving as president who led the commission for relief in belgium served as the director of the us food administration served as the third us secretary of commerce herbert clark who was said be patient and calm no one can catch the fish in anchor the highest thinking goes through this method be patient and calm and the bible says the rich man cannot pass through the eye of the needle but a poor man can pass what is the poor P- poor is pure is what they meant and the written language when is poor rich and the poor pure what is pure the person who who has practiced the samskruti who is connected to their family who is very close with love a relationship with the husband and wife and the children those people are very conscious those people become very observant those people who are conscious and observant can pass through the eye of a needle means can pass through anything in the world like when mother teresa was alive it was said that the president of america has given only one person the right to call 24 par 7 she can call the president of america one night 12 o'clock 2 o'clock and his pa or his guards can wake up the president to talk to mother teresa she was poor and pure who can pass through the eye of the needle even american presidents agree to pick up the telephone call if she calls any time of the night also herbert clark who said be patient and calm no one can catch the fish in anger when we teach the children samskruti that the um, japanese make sure that they all the kids goes to the first four years only learning culture samskruti and in the samskruti of course the language comes 
Mathematics comes, science comes, everything included. But the children's language, expressions, everything includes in their first four years. And when the children go to the school and sit, they look at the teacher. Like how the Japanese kids are taught to just observe. They observe the robber, it seems. And the policeman asks, they can draw exactly what shape, what color of the ear, size of the ear, the nose, the eyes, lips, everything. That deep is the observation. And children have to be taught. And most of the Japanese kids don't write many words or sentences. Many things goes with the drawings like our emoji. Emoji. It came from Japanese. Drawing and drawing. My Onochan, whenever she sends me love letters, not now when we were young. Most of the writings goes with that drawings. Yes. And when the children go to the school, teacher have to explain once is enough. Because children are so observant, they don't even have to understand the meaning. Just they open the ears and they open the eyes and the teacher's song the teaching, the jnana, so powerful, enters the children's body. And wherever they go, it happens. The drawing happens of its own, like how the Japanese painter, after the emperor asked him to draw the bamboo shoot after he was declared the father of paint in Japan. He went to the forest and he stood in front of the bamboo for one year. Second year only he could converse with the bamboo. And third year he became the bamboo and the drawing happened of its own. He brought it to the emperor and the emperor was shocked. It is looking alive. We don't hear, we have to tell our children a hundred times. Within seconds they forget. Within seconds they forget. That has to be drilled into the children. Be patient and come. No one can catch fish in anger. Hence, we were not been able to catch the richness. We go around and tell everyone, our yoga, our samskriti is so rich, but our mind chanchala was created that unconscious state. Our chanchala, our shake of the mind Disturbance of the mind has created the, the non-observant in, in us. Hence, a lot of our ashrams are calling our Indian children and foreigners to come and sit in meditation. We present a meditation. Let's sit in meditation. So that when the mind is calmed, you can see the truth. Buddha was past going with Ananda, his most closest disciple and cousin. And when Buddha was passing through a stream and we reached the other side, he said, Ananda, I am feeling thirsty. Just now we passed that stream. Can you just fetch some water for me? Ananda goes to the stream and he comes back and says, Buddha, the water is so dirty, I cannot get that water for you. Buddha said, please go one more time. He went and he came back. And Buddha said, no, the water is clean. I know it very well. You have not fished the water. Ananda was a little upset. And he said, Buddha, you don't believe me even after 12 years. So Buddha said, never mind, I'll come with you. Buddha went with Ananda to the river bed, to the bank of the river. And Buddha washed. The water was really dirty. Ananda did not tell a lie. And Buddha said, Ananda, please close your eyes and let us both sit together for 10 minutes in silence. They both sat for 10 minutes in silence. And Buddha said, now open your eyes, Ananda. Ananda opened. The water was clear, crystal clear. Ananda jumped, danced and said, my guru, my 
Guru is God, my Buddha is miracle, you have miracle. Buddha said, stupid, stop your dance, no miracle and your donkey. Listen to me. Have you seen the footsteps just after we went behind us? The king was passing with his caravan and he passed through the stream. And from un underneath all the mud came up and you couldn't see it was dirty. We sat for 10 minutes. Just the patience, just the consciousness of looking around, or just the observant. I was observant, so I saw the, the footprints of the horses. The dust settled down, the stream water is clear. How mind is like that? You have to just be conscious and observant. The mind catches. Like how the Japanese child can draw. You too can draw. The Japanese keep telling me, we learned this from India. You were our gurus. But what happened to us? Why are we running with so much of disturbance in our mind? Because our Sanskrit has been confused with our borrowed medicine, allopathy. Our mind, our Sanskrit, our nature has been our Culture has been confused with our education policy rushing up to the high-tech schools where they don't teach Sanskrit, they only teach the children to spit on the father and mother and talk back, talk back and ask them to shut up and eat all the junk food. It is time we go back to our roots. The family sits together, eats together, prays together, grows together, go back to your family. You can see the joint, the chiguru of the joint family. And strong stands the family tree. Herbert Clark, who was the 31st president of the United States of America, said, be patient and calm. Means be conscious and observe it. No one can catch fish in anger. No one can make money in, in the chanchala, in the unconscious state. No one can hold on to power. If that is the mechanic, no one can catch fish in anger means no one can reach the top if you are unconscious.